Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. I am excited to show you my December Graphics Fairy Design Team Junk Journal. As a Design Team member, I am given a free membership to the premium membership site, so I have access to all of their images for my projects. But I also watched the crafting tutorials and I'm learning Photoshop elements, so I've also been using the tutorials for that that are on the premium membership site. And I will link that site down below so you can check it out if you haven't already and see what they offer. And I'll also link the Graphics Fairy blog down below so you can read about a little bit about this journal and you can also see the other design team members projects and get some inspiration. This time I've done a traveler's notebook with a small envelope collection. I am always so inspired by Sheena from Luna Rosu and I will link her channel down below if you haven't seen her journals they are beautiful and I'm calling this Adelaide's Journal of Letters. I was lucky enough to find a box of ephemera, greeting cards, and tons of letters on eBay that belonged to a woman named Adelaide Robinson, who became Adelaide Hughes. So this is Adelaide's journal. I've included a lot of her ephemera that she saved and a lot of the letters that she received in this. And uh, we'll look at the journal first and then I'll show you the envelope collection. It is standard size traveler's notebook, maybe a little bit bigger, with the textiles poking out on the side and the bottom. There's sari silk and laces and trims and vintage buttons pinned on, little glass beads there. And it's got a twine closure that is removable. And so here on the back, the bundle that I used is the black and cream ephemera bundle from the premium membership site. And this is a lace panel image that is part of that bundle and I use that for the cover. Piece of lace there. Here the flap of the envelope from the cover. The front cover is a little tuck spot here. I did reinforce it with some paper on the back of the flap so it wouldn't tear if you tuck things in. So this is a little piece of a receipt from 1913. And then this is from Tim Holtz, a little image of his. And then on the front cover, here's the front of the envelope, 1932 vintage lace, a little paper clip. And right inside, I also reinforced this. So it is a little bit fragile, but you can put the journaling card in and out if you like. Here's the Sorry Silk Ruffle. And the journaling card sheets, there's two of them in the black and cream ephemera bundle. Here is one of them, Oops. were what really grabbed my attention. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but journaling cards are one of my favorite types of ephemera to put into my journals. I love to embellish them. I like using them as they're meant to be, journaling cards, and also as small pockets and tuck spots. But here is one of the sheets as, as it would be printed out. And I also loved it. A couple of them had a nice pop of red color. And so here's two of those. Oh, and other than the black and cream ephemera bundle, I did venture out and I was looking for a marbled paper for the backs of the journaling cards. Here is one of the them that I found. This was in the rich marbled end papers bundle and it was one of the journal pages that the Graphics Fairy team created. I just cropped, the, there were two journal pages I, that I chose. That I cropped out the light colored marbled paper and increased it in size to eight and a half by 11 and just printed it onto the back of my journaling cards. This is an authentic vintage postcard. And here is one of the letters, a few pages there. One of Adelaide's letters. It's the one that came out of this envelope actually. And going inside, right inside the cover, we have a pocket here. This is an image from the bundle. And this is also from the bundle. Um, beautiful marbled paper that I used for the inside covers. Here's just a little grungy tag with some seam binding and a postcard. Tried to keep everything pretty much in the color scheme, 1940. And then one of my favorite pieces of ephemera that I've included is Adelaide's American National Red Cross card. Love that. And here in this pocket, and this is a little flip out here, some black sari silk ruffle there, 
and they shed. <laughs> and a couple of vintage buttons pinned on. Here is 1929, a pamphlet for Art Week in Boston. So a nice little piece of ephemera there. And then this is a lace image from the bundle that I enlarged and made into a full page tuck spot there. Here are three more of the journaling cards. Let's see, printed on the back with the couple of different styles of marbled papers. And you could leave them as is, as like a little booklet or take it apart and use the journaling cards. Audubon page, again, keeping in with the color scheme. Flip out there, some most of the pages are tea dyed paper. A couple more of the journaling cards with a little bit of lace on them. And this is also an image from the Black and Cream Ephemera Bundle, a little bit of lace there. Dictionary page. This is from an architecture book I have. And Emily Dickinson, which I love to include her in my journal. This is also from the bundle as well. I used it as a page. Here is Adelaide Saved a Wedding Invitation. Vintage ring bound paper sheet. And this is, well, we'll see it when we get to the other side of it, but I believe this is from, it's either a concert or a fashion show, um, but some more of Adelaide's ephemera, and I love this one. It's all the advertisements for the theater and the program for one of the musicals or plays. I love this so much. There's the map of the playhouse. So that I've included as well. Italian book. Here, this side's a flip out, but I'm going to show you this side first, so I've just clipped it. Here is another of Adelaide's letters and envelope, and I've just created a little flip out there, and then on this side as well. And then the, the letter is inside. I did not read the letters. I did read a couple of the first pages of the letters. This one is quite has quite a few pages as well, but that is something I think really fun for whoever gets the journal to read and you can use them in collaging or throughout the journal or just save them as is. Day planner page from a vintage day planner. Little key charm here. Belly band, this is another image from the bundle and a few more of the journaling cards. Bound with some sari silk again. And here is with hotel letterhead, I just love this. Another letter to Adelaide, Hotel Padre. And then here, a little flip out, the grungy printed on the back, and another of Adelaide's letters, and a few more pages there. And then this is the washi tape printable from the bundle. I just printed it onto the premium copy paper and used it as pages. And here's a lace pocket, a couple of little glass beads pinned on, and this is one of Adelaide's postcards. Here is an another of her letters, and I love that one of her friends calls her Al. <laughs> so there's a few letters like that. And that is just journaling here and here, and then even inside if you wanted to add something in or tuck something in there, hidden journaling. Here's the other side of that hotel letter. Now the journaling card used is a tuck spot, and then this is a concert program, 1929. So lots of journaling space. I did stuff it pretty good with ephemera. That is why there's an envelope collection, because I wanted to include so much. Here's some beautiful ivory sari silk. And then here's another of the washi tape printables. And then a little fabric collage there with a vintage button. And then that clips on there, but then this also will fold out there. And then, well, here's the other side of that Filene Studebaker style show. It was the fashion show. So that's the program. For the fashion show, again, 1929 in Boston. And this page 
has a flip out there. I just clipped it and tucked in another letter from Hotel, Hotel Padre in uh, California. And that is this one. I did not read this one because the handwriting is very tiny. And uh, so actually, oh, it looks like it's a possible. Nope, it's one letter. And that just tucks in there. This is just the end papers on a vintage wildflower book, and I backed them together because they are pretty fragile, but I love the color of it, and I just stamped onto it. And so a little flip up to journal under. Some vellum here, and this is a flip out, and I just added a little piece of the marble printable to reinforce it. It tore a little bit, so just added some grungy tape. And then here's a little doily pocket with another of the little journal card booklets. There. And then on the back here, we have a, this is uh, similar to the, the receipt that was on the back. This is from the 1910s. It's just a blank receipt that you could use to journal or decorate your page. Some more sari silk. So this is a tuck spot and then also a pocket in this envelope. Some lace and that button and then well, I don't know. Either one of them could be Adelaide, whoever you would like. But I, I was thinking this was Adelaide and maybe her grandmother. So the photo is not from the lot of ephemera I got on eBay. I just thought she looked like an Adelaide. And so that is the journal. And now the envelope bundle. So we've got a metal key here with some grungy seam binding and some rickrack. And then it's tied with some more of this seam binding. I distress inked this and I just love how it came out. And so the first little envelope is from the bundle and I'll show you. Here is another one. It is normally three inches. The card is three inches, but I reduced them in size to make a little mini envelope. And I'm gonna cut this one out and, and make it and put it in the bundle as well for whoever receives the journal. A little bit of grungy tape there and then inside the little card just some little bits and pieces I believe these are all from Tim Holtz so that's that here is another of Adelaide's uh, letters and a little doily bit there some grungy tape and then this is another this is the one that I read most of it was very interesting from her friend and love the paper love this one and this was 1932 I also looked up the address on Google Satellite Maps, and this is in Beacon Hill, Boston, Brownstones. So imagine what that was like during the 30s and 40s. Here I tucked into a little vellum envelope, some more grungy tape. This is the RSVP to the wedding that she saved with the original little piece of tissue paper. So that is in there. And then here is another of her letters with some sari silk, a little bit of collaging and some tape and a little stamping and another letter inside that. And then here is after she was married and I collaged again, some piano roll paper, grungy tape, some lace stamping. This is a uh, part of the washi tape from the bundle inside. Some music paper there inside just a bunch of goodies so a little whoops a little stamp here is a oh there's a couple of these I believe yep Latin um, flashcards here is a page from a wildflower book a little bird card and this is a page from one of I include this a lot in my journals it's a little word book and then another piece of vintage ephemera, the Shrewsbury Women's Club, 1937. So we've got, uh, again, looks like a program of three one-act plays. So, so there's that, that Adelaide saved. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all doing well. I will see you back here real soon. Take care and happy creating.